So for today's video, I'm going to take a, a very quick look at the integrated swing capture inside of FSX 2020. Uh, this is a, a feature that's been a part of um, uh, the Foresight Sports software for as long as I've been using it. And um, I'm going to show you what it looks like with just a basic webcam. Today I'm using a Logitech C922 uh, webcam, just a, a basic off-the-shelf USB cam. Um, the integration also works with a DSLR, a mirrorless, or a lot of different swing analysis cameras. Uh, like in my case, I use Flare with uh, Swing Catalyst. Those um, high-speed cameras will work as well. So we're going to turn off the um, the picture in picture of uh, looking at me, and we'll get into the settings, and I'll show you uh, what it looks like and how it's set up. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is go inside of the FSX 2020 software, get into the settings, and go over to the swing camera option. And from here, I'm just going to leave it on camera number one and come down to the bottom and select camera. And as you can see, I've got quite a few cameras, um, everything from OBS to the Blackfly FLIR cameras that I use with Swing Catalyst. Uh, my Camlink, my Elgato Camlink is in here. But um, for the purpose of this, I'm just going to go right to a piece of software running my webcam uh, from uh, SparkleCam. And we'll just click on it. And I'm going to update some of the resolutions so we're not too, uh, too small. I'm going to go right to 1920 by 1080 resolution. I'm just going to leave it on 30 frames a second just for uh, this camera. Um, just to give you an idea that you don't need a high frames per second or 60, uh, I'm going to use 30 frames per second and everything's going to work perfectly fine. For the next piece of the settings, we're going to go to the on-screen uh, data and what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the mini-map in the side of my screen and I'm actually going to turn on video preview. You don't have to, but I, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to turn on the video preview which is going to eliminate the mini-map and replace it with uh, a video preview. And then I'm also going to turn on uh, the video options so that we see the, uh, the video again after each one of my swings for approximately 10 seconds. And the software gives you a zero if you don't want to look at it all, three, five, seven, and 10. I'm just going to leave it on 10 since uh, we are looking at the, uh, the video analysis screen or the on-screen data. So once we've got the video preview tab selected, we've turned on our video, we're going to hit apply. and. First up, you've seen our mini map disappeared, and our in screen video preview has shown up in the right hand that's taken over the mini map. From here, we're going to hit a couple shots, and I'm just happen to be on the blue bayou, um, set up at a 124 yard shot. I'm going to take a couple shots, <coughs> and then we're going to go into the um, FSX live portal online, and we'll see how our swing get captured on inside the live portal. Just because I'm hooked up to the internet here in the Golf Simulator Bay, it's uh, uploading my swings right to the cloud, capturing all my swing data, all my club data, and it's going into the, the FSX Live portal. And uh, we'll have a quick look at that and show you what the, the video looks like inside on the cloud. And uh, we'll end probably somewhere in there. So uh, first up, we'll see if we can hit a, a decent shot. probably two shots just to have a quick look and instantly because I turned that option on for 10 seconds it's going to replay my uh, my swing and give us basically a, a three second look at our swing go into our flight path and our club data and we get to have a good look at everything on screen from shot to shot we'll hit another one have a, a, another look So you can see the screen is uh, a little bit washed out, my impact screen. I've got a light blasting, uh, trying to uh, help improve the picture of our webcam a little bit. And we'll hit one more just so we have a bit of a group. So 
So inside this uh, swing capture, you can go in and you can highlight sections, you can draw some lines, uh, play that uh, normal speed, half speed, quarter speed, whatever our choice is. <coughs> I'm just going to go inside back into the analysis screen and we're looking at the video that I just took on the last shot. Of course we have all of our swing data at the top of the screen. If we wanted to, we could draw some circles, we could draw some lines, we can uh, get some angles set up, come back in here and, and erase sections. Change our color if we choose. Draw some uh, straight lines if we wanted to follow down a shaft. Just gives you a bit of an idea of uh, some of the options that are inside the Foresight Sports uh, video analysis screen. We went to uh, normal mode. That's normal speed. We have a half speed option. And then we have a, a quarter speed option. Slow everything right down. So uh, a very uh, unique, unique feature inside the FSX software. And again, this isn't an OBS uh, video corner cutout. It's, uh, that's actually the screen integrated from uh, FSX software itself. So from here, I thought we would finish off the video by taking a look at the uh, web portal. So we're just going to come into the web portal. I'm going to go back to the uh, screen so we can have a look at those last few shots that I just hit. Refresh the stats. I had this web page open previously. So we'll just refresh the stats. And we're going to go to um, this section. We used, uh, I used a couple clubs just since I, I hit a couple shots uh, prior to starting off the video. And we have uh, four shots to look at right off. Right at the start, we'll look at the 50 degree wedge that I was just hitting, the three, three group cluster that I just hit. We've looked at this video a few times inside the FSX portal, and um, we've, we've kind of gone through this in, in detail, but for the purpose of today, we're not gonna get too much into what the live portal has for stats and what it captures, but instantly you can see those three shots that I just hit on video here. Um, we can go into the statistics for those shots, the little grouping that we had, the tracers where those balls landed, pulled a couple, kind of pushed one out to the right a little bit. But what we came for is the video analysis screen. So as soon as I click on the videos, it's given me the option to have a look at all three videos. And if we look at the first, first um, shot that we made, the video analysis screen, we'll play that one again. Again, it's just a three second clip. So you can replay it over and over and over if that's what you choose. We'll minimize it back down. For that first screen, that first video, that's the first shot that we hit. We can go into the shot analysis of that screen, look at our club data, look at our ball data. We can download the video if you choose to uh, keep a file on a server or on your computer somewhere. You can actually click download video and instantly the video starts downloading in an MP4 format. So you can save it, um, label it, it's got the date already timestamped on, on the, uh, the video itself. From here you can go into the shot analysis screen. And uh, you still see a quick link to your video that you can play at any time in the small format, in the small thumbnail, or you can uh, expand it to full screen. And we have the range look for that particular shot, and then of course the club data for that particular shot. So it gives you a bit of an idea of what this swing analysis screen looks like, or the swing capture piece of the integration on FSX 2020. Uh, if anybody was interested in that, hopefully this video gives you a, a bit of an understanding of what's available for just another group of settings inside FSX 2020. 
you watched the entire video, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, really helps us out. And uh, we'll catch you next time.